Ya Yesu, amen. Praise the Lord. We greet you, uh, Church of God, and I believe you are in peace. We are also in peace as well. We all have heard very good words by the a preacher who just preached. That are showing us where the earth is going, the, wor the world is going. Because where the world is going, to say that people who uh, came after, we see it. The way it was long time ago is not the same today. I think about this. And I remember myself as a young kid growing up. The things I saw. It is not the same of the things I see now. Things are changing very quickly. And it's changing uh, following the word of God. This book of Revelation. It shows that this is the end of the world. It is a sign. That show us that the, the Son of God is coming back. Here we're just in the grace of God. People, just like he just said that the 10%, they prepare their own things. But without God's agreeing, it's not going to happen. Because we have the King of Kings that we believe in. And He's the one who stands for us. He's the one who protects the earth. They can prepare their own things, but, but if, unless He agrees, it will Stand the same, it will stay the same many years. But if we follow the Bible the way it talks about it, we are in the end times. I remember Jesus Christ. He told the disciples that, but do you see this church? That not one rock is going to remain. And then they ask, well, uh, Lord, how is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Where in the end time going to happen? And he told them that the one country we attack on the other country, they're going to be war. It's going to be many things that are going to bring fear in people. And then you're going to think in your heart or in your brain that where are we going? But the main thing is to believe in God. When a person, you're just in God, that thing will come, but it's not going to make bring fear in you. You just receive it the way you see it. Because you are in Jesus Christ. So what is needed is for us to be in Jesus. When we are in Jesus, there, there's a lot of things that we don't have to worry about. We're not going to say a lot of words. We're going to talk about the word of God. That God known us from a long time ago. God knew us even before the earth was created. We're going to talk about uh, Jeremiah. But then, Without talking about Jeremiah first, we're going to talk about Moses. Moses was born in, a, in hard times. And it was greater than what's happening now. But because the hand of God was on him, God protected him. But because when Moses was born, he, he was the uh, servant of God. At that time, the king that was in leadership, he had signed a command saying that they're going to kill all the young boys. And but when, they, when Moses was born, because he knew uh, they, they hired him, 
They hide Moses. And then it came to a time where they said that it's not going to be possible for them to hide him. The, the Holy Spirit gave him uh, the, the wisdom. And then they created a little container. And this little container. And they took the child. And then they put them in the container where the water couldn't get in. And once they put, tied them up in little clothing. And then the sister said, see what happens. Because God is with him. It seemed like that when, when, the child, when the child Pharaoh went to swim, he heard a child crying. When they heard a child crying, and they said, that, what is happening? Let me go see. And look, they went to look. And they saw it was a Hebrew child. And it was a boy. The command was to kill him. But because the hand of God was on him, who was going to touch him when God, his hand was on him? When God was hand, his hand was on him. The sister came. They loved the child very much. Whether they loved the child very much. That they said, that, let me just have this child. Once they loved the child and then for them to start them, The sisters asked them, so, so that, uh, do you see a person that can help me uh, ha have this child or take care of this child? Am I, have to, am I able to keep the child? But they, they brought back to the, to the Moses mother. And Moses was brought back to the mother. And then they, they went and raised the child. He came to a time where the, ch the child grew. And the, the, ch the child Pharaoh took the, the boy and they took him. Why did he exist? That is because the hand of God. The plan of God. No, no man is going to be able to change it. No man is going to be able to change the plan of God. Whatever God plans. And then whatever uh, God refuses, he refuses. When God opens for a person. And God blesses that person. Nobody's going to block that blessing. It's not going to be possible. As you can see that Moses, uh, he grew and was, uh, became an adult. That is because God had a plan on him. He also learned the wisdom of the Egyptians. When we read the Bible, Paul but uh, we see that Paul learned too, and Moses, by he, he Moses, never was as smart as Moses. Moses. Moses learned the wisdom of the Egyptian to the point where he became a, a high person. So, but, about I, Moses, let's stop there. But, but but it came to a time where God sent Moses. Nothing, uh, nothing prevented Moses from existing. Let's talk about, uh, let's read in Jeremiah. Because everybody was called. We're going to read Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. Starting line four. Because time is running, I'm going to run, I'm going to read both chapters at the same time. Another person person be prepared to read the book of Ephesians. It's going to be chapter one. 
line four to five. Mumahanga. <laughs> Maze ndavugandi yo erega mwami wa eh, mwami uhoraho sinzi kuvuga kuko nkiri muto ari kuhoraho aramubarira ati nacho uvuga ngo ndacari muto kukuwo nzogutumako wese ari we uzojako kandi cho nzobarira nzokubarira chose Akabali cho ukwiye kufuga. Nduzu gire ubgova kubgavu kukonzova ndi kumenawe ngo ngurokori. Nije uoraho mbivuze. Chenda. Mazu uoraho arafuga e eh, aramvura ukubako angorako kumunua uora harambarira atehe Shitse ama jambo ya nje muka nwakawe. Chumi. Raba uyo musi. Uyo musi ngushizeo kugira uh, ubushozi. Subire mo. Raba uyo musi ngushizeo kugira, kugira ubushozi kumahanga no kubihugu vyabami. Bugo kurandura no kusangangura kuhonya no kukomvu mvura, ponu kuwa ka, no kutera gira. Amena. Amen. Hanyuma, unesoma, ya mwini soma mwini efeso. Efeso? Ya, efeso, limwe kanega tanu. Hakuye kuhu mwini mwini nagufasha, na hundi mwini hariyo. Nega dusome, awanyi efeso, limwe kumurongo wakane, gushika kuriga tanu haravu gati. Mwuko uh, ya duto oranije, mwuko ya duto oranije, mwuriwe, Itangu rilogi isi ilitarashika kugira ngo tube abera tutagira agasemga imbere yayo. Turi muruku, turi murukundo. Gatano harabugati. Kuko yagabiye kera kodu heshwa na Yesu Kristo guchi, guchika abana bayo kugayo huko ya, uh, ya vigombye vikai uh, himbara. Ame. Amen. Praise the Lord. Here, time is grinding. Here, just like how we just read here, the way we have read, we can see the, the, the calling of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was called as a child. But even though he was young, he said that, Yo, mommy. He said, Lord, I'm still young that I'm not able to speak. But God told him, don't say that you are still young. Because wherever I send you, it's where you're going to go. Whatever I'm going to tell you, it's why you're going to speak. And, and, I touch your mouth. And he gave him the, the, the power to pluck and also break down. When we talk about the strength of God, it is the strength of God. When we say that, do this, and you will do this for me, and you just respect God and do what he says. No, there's no problem. Because God will able you to do all these things. That is why we need to believe. Because God will enable us in everything. Also, as God enables us, he also protects us. I want to talk about the young. I love the young people. But the young people 
They have these things that pull them. That like to pull. And we also get pulled. But they, they do it very like a lot, too much. Because we have them. For those who are born, we are together in our houses. For those who are, who are grown here. And you can see the way they are. These people, these kids that are here now, there is like about the same. There is something. A phone is good. A computer is good too. There is no problem with it. But they use the phone. It can, uh, from morning, Start uh, to all the way to the evening. And it will be 12 hours. I'm just, I've seen this myself. I'm, I'm be, when I speak, I, I start with my own kids. And uh, when they're there, when you ask them, what are you watching? I'm just watching movie. they respond. They're just looking at the things in the phone. The things are distracting. The things that they love doing. The things are bad. Even the good things are inside. I just wanted to warn the kids. When you are using your phone in that time, Understand that God, that you are here in the church of God. God has called you. God has called you. Here, Jeremiah was called. And this God, God known you from uh, before even the foundation. And God knows you uh, uh, more than you know yourself. I'm going to ask the young people or everybody in the church. Let us take the hour. Yes, you are on your phone. You're just watching whatever you want. But just take 30 minutes. Just open the Bible in the language that you understand and start reading it. That just, uh, the, the same way you look at your phone, read your Bible. That because here, no kid can lie to me and tell me that they don't look at their phone. Even the adults, we looked at the phones. But the young kids, they don't look at phones. Here, if you give time to read the Bible, it's just 30 minutes a day. It's going to help you tomorrow. It will help you tomorrow. Because it is your earning. Here, what I'm telling you, here, when, when you are just looking at your phone, it's, it's going to take you with it. But when, when you think, that, let me take the time to read the Bible too. Let, let me remember our Father, our God. But it's going to come from you. I'm going to ask you to do this. But if you don't do it, you will see what's coming in, in the future. I'm going to tell you this. When a person is young, because we all were young at some point in our lives, you think about the things of the young person, and you, you're going to think, do the things of the young person. Even that, even God is God is watching you. That is why the words that we speak here. You need to hear it and understand it. Sometimes I think and I go far in thinking. I'm not young. I've seen many miracles of God. I cannot say all of them. Just to see with my own eyes. But you here, you are, you are, we are speaking, but it seems like you don't understand. 
When we, we when we say that person with cancer we can pray for them and they could be healed. I know you hear it with just your ears but it is it happens. It happens. To God there's no there's no sickness that is not going to be healed. Uh, in, in, when, when, you, when you got one God to be for you, whether, whether you have diabetes, don't you think, don't you know that God will help you? In God, it will all be healed. The signs, you don't even see it. Sometimes I think that God, please try. And in the young people, you may be able to read and you, you may be seen like you've received salvation and they be able to understand. But if God can only help you understand, it would be really good. Because the goodness of God, it's, all, it's forever. Also to have faith. It comes from hearing and also believing. And God will approach you and be with you. Yes. Kumurongo wichenda kukeza kuri chumi. Harafu gango. Ewe wa musore. Neza yerwa uusore ugawe. Kandu mutima wawe ukuneze reze mumisi uusore ugawe. Kandu gendere muunzira zu mutima wawe. No mukuraba kwa maso yawe. Aliko. Wame ubizi uku imana. Izo shira muruanza guivyo vyose. Chumi. Nuko. Kura maganya mumutima wawe. Kandu shira ikiri kure yumubiri wawe. Kukubuto nubusore arubusa. Amen. Mane shimechan. May God be praised. I am pretty sure that you, it's understand. It's understand. Imana nacho yinyo anu wakiri watu. That it, there's nothing impossible to God. God has given us everything. When we say young men, we were also talking about the young ladies. Yeah. Because God, God has put these things in front of us so that we can walk in it. The Bible tells us that make your heart happy in the things that you desire, in the things that you walk in, in the things all your things you do. Ariko, ariko, but remember that, that, that one day God is going to bring you into judgment. Some people may think that me, nothing, when you say that judgment is going to come, it's not going to look at me. Because young people, many, many of them, they put themselves in things. In the things that they're thinking in their heart, they think that that's the one that is the right thing to do. That's not how it is. The word of God does not change at all. The word of God, the way the word of God was a long time ago is the same way it is today. God never changed anything. God never changed anything. When we say that rejoice in your God and to love God with all your heart in your, all your heart in all your thoughts and you do what God is happy with God will not be far from you. Whether you are a young man, whether you are a grown man or a, a, a woman, whether you are an old man or a young person, he will not be far from you. He will stay with you at all times. But even if you have problems, God will hear you. Book of Psalms, 
37 this is uh, 23 the word of God tells us that a righteous person whether even if they fall they will not fall all the way to the ground but even if they fall all the way to the ground God will raise them up why because you love God you have loved God with all your heart when you love God with all your heart God is going to love you back if there's problems that comes your way God will protect you. Because God protects us all. When a person, you, when you're in God, you're in God. As a person, if you're in God, you know that you're in God for sure. That you, just don't be confused or don't be doubtful for that. Am I in God? Or it might not be God. The Holy Spirit of God will tell you. And God, the Holy Spirit will tell you you are in God or you're not in God. That you are a sinner or you're not a sinner. That's why. That we need to change. Let us come before God or people of God. Coming before God in His great uh, wealth. Coming before God, there's a good thing that comes with it. When you come before God, God will walk with you. When we look at Job, the things that came to be on him, he went through hard times. But because he, was, he, he also rejoiced in God and he gave hope to God, it all happened, all the bad things on him and they all passed. So let us be close to God and let us be people of God. The word of God that we have is that may God bless you. Now, now we want to ask a person who wants to approach God, we welcome you. We don't have to explain too much of what approaching God means. It is a, a thing that's known that you know what's missing in your life. And you know that maybe it's hard, been hard in, for me this way and this way. So let me approach God and let me ask for forgiveness. God forgives anybody who has. And God uh, also accepts anybody no matter where you're from. Whether you are sick, whether you are just want to approach God, maybe you need the strength of the Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Come forward, so that God.